Hey guys, what's going on? I got the kids in the back, Presley and Ash, and then there's Brandy. Uh, we're, I took the day off from work because it's finally my appointment to find out if I'm gonna be able to get laser eye surgery. We're just on the way to drop the kids off and then head to Abbotsford for a two and a half hour appointment. Yay, and I don't even get to go shopping. No, unfortunately not. Um, I, don't, I don't even know what the appointment consists of. All I know is they will dilate my eyes at one point. And that's why I need sunglasses, even though it's a cloudy day. Still have to wear sunglasses afterwards. Did you bring the phone charger? No, I didn't bring the phone charger. Oh. It should be fine. Okay. It's two and a half hours, I shouldn't need the phone charger. I was just wondering, did you bring your GoPro? No, no. I didn't bring the GoPro. Okay. <laughs> just thought about it, but I decided, eh, nah, screw it. There's no point. Anyways, so we're gonna drop the kids off and I'll get back to you in a bit. It makes me mad. It makes me mad. It does make me mad. Just like any Canadian road trip, I gotta get a Tim Hortons. Spider web on there. Hey, where? Hi there, what can I get for you? Can I get a medium ice cap, please? Sure, and anything else there? Or oh, sorry, not ice cap, ice coffee. Oh, okay, I can change that. And uh, was there anything else? No, that's it, I think. Right? Yep, that's it. That's it? Alright, come on up there. Thanks. Okay, so before we go, where am I? I need to set my GPS because it's, oh, that's not GPS. Because it is out of town. I have an idea where it is, but. Yeah, you didn't think to look beforehand? No, I do, but I just like to have the GPS to be safe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, stick your finger in my ear. 23 minutes, I'm going to turn that up so I can hear it. Turn right toward Eagle Landing Parkway, Evans Road. Shut up! Yeah, yeah, okay. Anyways, let's get on the road. Yeah, look at that. That is so cool. Oh. The reason Brandy is with me is because I'm not allowed to drive home afterwards. All I know is there's... Use there's the left it. two lanes to turn left onto South Fraser Way. That's so all, <laughs> all I know is they are going to dilate my eyes, which is why I also have to bring my sunglasses which means I'm not allowed to drive. They've straight out told me I have to have a driver. Continue so, on South Fraser Way for two kilometers. <laughs> got it. So that's why Brandy is here, because she's gonna drive home. Now, other than that, I have no idea what to expect over this appointment. I'm excited, but I'm a bit nervous. Because <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Well, we made it with 10 minutes to spare. Remember that? Mm -hmm. It's pretty easy. It was where I thought it was, but Sometimes like the GPS to make sure. Okay. So, I guess let's go in. Let's get this shit started. If I can even get out. Hi guys. As you can tell, I am not with Dale. I went shopping to Michael's while he is in his appointment. I still have about an hour left, so I don't know. Maybe I'll go to the mall. It's right across the street, so see what else I can spend my money on. I actually originally went into Michael's to get cake boards. Um, and I may have bought a few more things than just cake boards. So, yeah. Alright. Oh well. Alright, so I am back at the place that I dropped that Dale... Wait, what? I'm back where Dale is to pick him up. Yeah. And uh, I ended up going to the mall. Didn't find anything. Which is whatever. That's not a big deal. Um... Yeah, he should be out within the next, well, uh, pretty much any time now. And I'm just gonna go in and make sure that he's not like sitting there waiting for me. I can't tell if the camera's focused, like straight out, I can't tell. So, Randy's driving, she's never driven my Jeep on the highway, and I've never sat in the passenger side of my own vehicle. So, this is weird, and again, I, I hope the camera's focused. Because <laughs> yeah, I can't see. I'm wearing sunglasses and I'm squinting. So we're done the appointment and we've left. I just, I didn't turn the camera on there because, well, Brandy had it with her and she went shopping, but. I recorded a little bit. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay, well, I wouldn't have been able to do anything anyways because with the testing and stuff being done, but I had to direct her to the highway before I turned the camera on anyways. <laughs> so I get there and I say, peace out, bye, love you. <laughs> She goes shopping and I don't know, I guess you guys have already seen it technically, so yeah. Anyways, I go upstairs 
to start the testing and so they hooked me up not hooked me up but they sit me in front of this one machine and it's got like this blue laser looking light inside of it and so it scans like does whatever to my right eye and then my left eye and then they move me over to another machine and do whatever again okay. I have no idea it was something different and then they moved me over to another machine and this one there was like grabbing complications with it wasn't scanning my eye properly for whatever reason so the right eye took a while but once that got done it got done and then they started to do the left eye but that one they had a lot of trouble with because it's more dry than my right eye Weird. so I could hear after every scan or whatever that it would beep saying error like an error type beep noise thing right yeah so well if you need me to move my arm just let me know you're good so I was starting to get frustrated and I was starting to feel bad for them because it's you know I feel it's taking longer but it still wasn't my fault it was also the fact that in younger people your eyes trying to make it more clear focus not as that's not the term they use but uh more crisp it's trying to make it crisp or whatever anyways once that got done we went downstairs to a proper looking eye doctor room my arm's getting tired a proper looking eye doctor room where if you've ever been to a doctor to get your eyes checked they you know they did that part and then we had to go back upstairs into the, an operating room so you got a workout too yeah i got, I got a workout going up and down the stairs and so we go back upstairs to another machine because they had to check the cell counts and whatnot in my eyes and then we went back downstairs again and she did a few more things and then she went she put drops in my eyes and it didn't like burn or anything but like you know when you're out with the heat it's a really hot day and you close your eyes and it kind of you get a weird sensation it's feeling hot, sensation. right so that's what it, that's what that felt like and then she put another thing up against my eye and checked my eyes and then she showed it to me she told me that it was actually the numbing stuff that they use when they do the surgery so she points to this little thing on the tool that she was using and she told informed me that that was actually right up against my eyeball oh, and i did not feel it so you know that's good to know that numbing shit works no um, so then after that i went back out into the waiting room where they put in more drops to dilate my eyes yeah and then they gave me these forms to fill out now these forms they're like on the, like they're plastic with a erasable marker so they can just scan it i get the first form filled out and the second form i i couldn't see shit i'm thinking oh my god how am i gonna fill this out i can't see anything everything is just a giant blur from them dilating my eyes like this sucks so i filled it out as best as i could hopefully you know writing uh i don't know how it turned out because i couldn't see shit but it was interesting so then I had that in and she's like, well, you're all done. I'm like, I think so. <laughs> I, I can't really tell. I don't know if I missed anything because I can't see it. It's all blurry. So then I sat there and waited and then they called me up. I went to another room for the actual eye doctor or surgeon or whatever. He does the surgery. And he, he's a pretty nice guy. So he started looking at all my stuff and the first thing he goes, oh wow you are an interesting character oh, why okay that vehicle right there on the side of the highway has got no tires on what the hell it's sitting on his brake pads and i'm like he's like oh no offense but you're interesting i'm like okay i guess that's good shit, right i guess it's good to know so he starts looking at it starts looking at it he's humming and hawing i'm thinking okay you know what they're not gonna be i'm not gonna be able to get surgery straight up that's what i'm preparing myself for so then he's talking about ICL, which is implantable contact lens, which is the most expensive surgery. We're talking like 10K, believe it or not. Yay. And he's looking at it and looking at it. And at first he thought that was the surgery I needed. And as he looked at it more, he's like, no, that would not be a good surgery for you. Thank God. And he's looking at it. And there was another one that's called RPK, which is the cheapest of them all. 
and he decided, no, that's not the best one for me either. He determined and decided that LASIK surgery is what is best for me and I'm a good candidate for it. So he did a couple more things to make sure and yeah, I'm a good candidate for LASIK surgery. I would never have to wear glasses again. So I'm pretty stoked about that. One thing he did say though, is I have above average pupil size. Ah, My pupil size is in the one to three percent. Oh, weird. Which I didn't know. So that's like such uh, a strange thing. Yeah, it's like one to three percent. So that's good. You know, he explained it to me, and so today is July 11th. I could go in for surgery on August 18th. If not then, I can, the next one is August 30th. So by next month, the end of summer, I could be glasses, glasses free. You could be. You know, I'm like. You sound super excited. <laughs> you am sound, excited. You sound like. And I'm a bit emotional about it because I've worn glasses ever since I was a little kid. Yeah. Like elementary school. So yeah, this is like huge for me. And. and I don't like this truck. I'm excited. It's kind of coming into my lane. You guys missed it anyways so my balance remaining is so i pay a hundred bucks today which goes towards the surgery and the balance remaining is forty one hundred dollars which is due upon surgery it's a lot of money but i do get fifteen hundred back so it does drop it to i don't know i can't do the math right now what would that be 36 no, sorry, 26. I think around 20, 2,600, I think. I think that sounds about right. So I'd, I'd, I'd end up paying 27, technically, because 100 bucks a day, out of my own pocket, I'd, I'd get back 1,500 from the 42. So that's not so bad either. I mean, it's a lot of money, but I would not wear glasses again. Like, it's exciting. So exciting, I never thought it would be possible. It'll be so weird. It will, it, it will be weird. I know the kids are a little not too happy about it. This guy is speeding up. Like I'm trying to pass him to get in front of him. And he's freaking speeding up. Like The guy in the mirror is being a douchebag. He was going 110 and now he's going 120. Huh, he's being a douchebag. Yeah, yeah I gotta answer that out. Yeah, you do. That's the thing. How fast are you going? 120. Not bad. Anyways, yeah, I'm super excited. So I, I do have the paperwork to fill it all out and sign when I go back. I just gotta decide, do I finance this or do I figure out how to pay for it all up front? So I gotta figure that out. I wanted to book the appointment like when I was there for the 18th, but I just gotta figure a few things out because I just, I really hope I can do this. I really do. Yeah. It's a lot of money to just be like, yes, when you, especially when you like don't have it in hand. It is a lot of money. I, I will agree. But think of the money I will save on my glasses. And he even said, I will save a lot of money doing this because the way my eyes are, it's, they're, they're costly to do every single time I get a prescription. Yeah. And you know, he asked me the last time I went, so I told him, you know, about three years ago, 2013, somewhere in 2013 was the last time I went to get my eyes checked. But my glasses, like, you know, I've been pretty okay with my glasses, with them not, like, not having to feel that I need to go in and get a new prescription, which is also a good thing. So. That means that your eyes aren't, like, deteriorating really fast. So. We will see. And plus, any touch-ups I need is covered for the first year. Well, I should hope so. So, we'll see. I, I'm, I want to book it. I really do. I just got to figure out 4100 bucks, Which, it won't be hard. I just, I'm sure I can do it. I'll pull it off, but we'll see. Anyways, I have no idea if all this is going to focus. I don't even know all I've been recording for. We're almost back home. It's about a 20 minute drive, 15 to 20 minute drive on the highway. This feels weird in the passenger seat. We're gonna go pick up the kids. I can't drive for a while anyways. Probably
for the rest of the day until I can actually see again. Give you guys also another idea of how blurry shit is for me right now. Uh, is that focused? I can't tell. Uh, pretty much. Okay, so you guys could, you guys could probably read that. I can't. Like, you know, that far from the camera or even my face, I can't read that shit right now. We're just quickly stopping at McDonald's, which I don't know why, because we don't eat this crap. No, I need coffee. Oh, yeah, it's coffee. Hi, can you get coffee? anything to eat? Um, hi. Uh, can I please... I think my Jeep set that off because there's, no, there's nobody around. Yeah. My Jeep actually is a little bit loud when you fire it up. I should have had the camera propped up because Brandy is still driving, of course, because I can't yet still. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure my Jeep set that truck off. Yeah, it did. <laughs> that is awesome. I like that. But uh, oh, I was walking behind it to the passenger side when she started up and when uh, it fires up. Anyways, it's uh, two o'clock and I think my eyes were dilated at 11-ish. And it's shit still blurry. I'm starting to make things clear. Like I can make out my stereo now, the time on it. My phone is still a little bit blurry to see. The sun is very, very sensitive. Like my eyes are still very, very sensitive to the, uh, the sun right now. Did I, say, did, I say that, did I say that right? I think so. I think I said that right. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention. No. I wasn't either. So, yeah, so now we're just headed home. We had to get some things at Walmart. Kids are back there. What do you, Ashley, what do you think about Daddy is allowed to get laser eye surgery? What do you think about yeah. it? What do you think? Yeah, Presley, what do you think? I can't, it's blurry as shit. Well, for me, I can't tell what she's doing. I know she's not too fond of the idea, but uh, whatever. Anyways, we're headed home now. I don't know, Ashton, you were pretty bad in there, so there. But my vision is slightly coming back now. It's kind of nice because it's been a few hours. Well, no, three hours, I guess. Yeah, it's been like three hours and I'm starting to get my vision back, which is nice because I'm really tired of shit being blurry. Oh God, I gotta pee. And Brandy's, <laughs> she's gotta pee really bad. Is that tickler while she's driving? No, I will pee in your seat. That's that's not cool. That's not even funny to joke about. <laughs> yeah. Is it focusing? There we go, there we go. Hope it's focused. Everything's still blurry for me. Slowly coming back. Uh, I got my blinds open right now and it's bright for me. It's, my eyes are still sensitive. Anyways, I do have, where are we? Bunch of stuff here. This is all to do with the surgery. This is, I think, the consent form or something of the other. This is if I need financing. And then this is to do with uh, the procedure itself. I can't even read this stuff still. So once I can read it, then I'll uh, go over it. Well, not with you guys, but I will look at it from myself. Anyways, until then, yeah. So the wife possibly has won a bike. She's been wanting a bike as well. Not a BMX, a cruiser style bike, pedal bike. And she else? thinks she might have won one for like 135 bucks on a bidding site. And they, those bikes normally go for like 250 plus. So it's only been ridden like three times, so that's good. So now I definitely gotta get my bike finished. Yeah, so yeah, here's a little peek at what it looks like right now. There's the frame. Um, hope it's not blurry because everything's blurry for me right now still. So there's the frame, I need to paint that still. But it's ready to go, I just need to clean it up. Uh, I had to buy a chain breaker, which is right there, to get the chain off. Now, this is all painted with the and the clear coat. So here's the red. I think it's gonna look good. It's actually turning out how I like it. And then here's the rest of the red. So this is all a little sticky still, but it's all looking good. And then I got the pedals, the old pedals I gotta get off old pedals I got to get off the cranks and I'm just gonna fresh that freshen that up in black 
and the handlebars and then it's good to go yesterday i did put the tires on the wheels so i got the tires and the wheels with new tubes as well decided why not i might as well and i think it's looking good i really like the looks of these and the feel of them so I'm excited I can't wait. oh shit I almost fell on toolbox i can't leave any of this stuff outside it'll probably get stolen so right now you know i got my bike all <laughs> in pieces all over the living room until it's back together and then once it's back together i'll still keep it inside but i've got a spot out of the way for it and the wife's bike will obviously have to keep inside as well. Don't want to get it stolen, so I'll make room for that. Ashton, where, where is he? I can't see. Right there, he's got a bike. And I just need to get a Presley a bike. And then we all have a bike. We're going to do family bi bike rides. My three new shoes. Stand right there then. I'm coming. Here's my three new shoes down here. Where? Down here. I can't see. Put oh. the camera down here. Oh. Right there? No. Right there? No. Down. Over here? No. Where? Down. Down. <gasps> you got some new shoes, eh? Mm-hmm. These ones are like kind of like work boots, but they're actually for my new school. Cool, buddy. And then these ones I'm wearing are for my new school. Well, they, look like, they almost look like Converse. Uh-huh, but they're they're like my mom's, but they're black and gray. I got blue ones. I got blue Converse. Mom's got pink ones. And and I'm and I'm in the crew. Cool. And these ones are for my new school again. All for your new school, eh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool deal, buddy. Don't leave me hanging. Boof. And I have some new clothes. Where? Clothes. Clothes. Okay, well, we're not gonna worry about those right now. I know. In, okay. Maybe in the next okay. video. In the next video. But one of the things about this surgery is well, I'll be able to wear proper sunglasses. Oh my god, it's so bright. I should be wearing the ones that go over this. I can wear proper sunglasses, and better yet, I can't wait to wear this and ride this when it's done. Because, no, don't do that. Because that is hard to wear with my glasses on. So once I don't have to wear glasses anymore, it's going to be so much fun wearing that while I'm riding the bike and stuff like that. I'll, I'll even wear that one too. My unicorn mask, I love that thing. It'll be so much easier to use that stuff when I don't have to wear glasses anymore. And please stop that. That's not very nice to do while I'm doing this, is it? That's not very nice. How about you put that down, please? It's not really a toy for you to play with. That's for the bike. Put it down, please, okay? I'll put it back in, in something. How about you put it back now? Anyways, I'm just gonna chill out for now. I'm gonna rest my eyes. I cannot even edit this video because I, I can't sit in front of the computer and edit properly, so. Yeah, as of right now, I think that's going to be the end of the vlog. Uh, if the wife does get the bike, I'll show you guys that. If she brings it home today, or gets it today, whatever. But, for now, I think we're just going to, like I said, you know, end the vlog there. I'm just going to sit on the couch, I'm going to relax, rest my eyes, because they're still, they feel tired and sore from being dilated and everything's blurry. Dad, watch me. What? What are you doing? Cool. So, I think this vlog's probably gonna end up being a little longer than normal. I'm not sure. Uh, it might be a day or two before I'm able to get it edited and out because of this. Look. So, yeah, look at the bike pump. So, <laughs> apologize for that part. This video will be a little bit delayed. And, uh, make more sense to go straight. She hates this vehicle. We're driving the van right now. It's definitely not my favorite. I hate it too. I don't like it. We're gonna get rid of it. I think we're going to... I mean, we definitely want to get rid of it and then get either another Jeep or a car. I'm gonna be buying 
the Tacoma in a couple of years, so we'll have the Tacoma and the Jeep. So. It's hard to yeah. say. I wouldn't mind just getting rid of this and just getting a car. Because, like, honestly, we don't we don't really need it anymore. No, we don't. We don't need this. Apologize for the wind. It's freaking hot out. Uh. Eventually we'll get a car. We'll probably just get like a Civic or something like that because it's cheap and reliable and they're good, they're good on gas, right? So we'll probably just get something like that when the time comes. But oh, Ferrari. Yeah. But for now, right now, anyways, what we're doing is there's a reason we have the van, we're driving the van right now, and that is because we're taking. Where are they? I don't even know where people are in this vehicle. There's Presley, so she's staying with us. And then there's Ashton, right there, and then, ugh, just, It's a water bottle down by your I know, it kind of creeped me out for a second. <laughs> uh, so he's going to BBS, which is Vocational Bible School. It's just a thing he goes to for... A week? A week, from like 6.30 to 8 o'clock every day, at night. So it's just for the kids to have fun, it's something to do, right? So while he's going there, and then reason we have the van is because she won the bid on the bike for 135 yeah 135 bucks for the bike and it's been ridden like three times or something like that <laughs> yeah right so it's a score those bikes are like you know 250, 250. plus depending on which one but so we got a good deal so we got the van so we can put the seats down in the back and bring it home and in my jeep i would have been able to go around <laughs> i could have too but my so anyways, yeah, we're, we're driving the van so we can put it in and get and get the bike home. People still rollerblade? I used to rollerblade lots. So I was actually looking the other day. I said, still? I was looking, the, looking the other day for rollerblades. I haven't but, seen rollerblades for years. Really? Because I just looked at some at Sport Check, they were on sale. Yeah, I guess I just don't notice them. Anyways, so yeah, like it just the bike won't fit in the Jeep <laughs> and I don't want to put it on the roof rack. So. We're gonna use the van to get it home, and then I think on payday, I'm gonna buy a bike rack for us to use for the Jeep. Uh, I was gonna get a hitch one, but I thought about it, and if I get a hitch one, then I have to get like this double hitch thing so I could have the bike rack on a hitch and then tow the trailer as well. So I'm just gonna get one of those ones that mount to the trunk. I mean, they're only a hundred bucks, so they're a lot cheaper. And it holds three bikes instead of two. So for now, we're just going to get one of those to put our bikes on. And so we can put my bike, her bike, and Ashley's bike on there. And then we just need to get Presley a bike. Yeah. She tried the little Strider thing. There's spots on it. I got to clean my lens. She tried the little Strider thing in um, Canadian Tire the other Did she? day. Yeah. Oh yeah, I definitely I need to clean this lens. I got a cloth at home. Anyways, we're here to drop Ashton off, so uh, we're gonna drop him off. So Presley is upset because she can't stay. Unfortunately, she's not in kindergarten, so she can't stay. Are you, are you upset that you can't stay? No. no? <laughs> you said you were. She is. She kept asking to sit down. She lied. Next year, okay? Pound it. Don't leave that hanging. Come on. <laughs> Well, fine then. Found it. Just picked up the bike, and it's like, it's like brand new, like literally brand new. She you, said that she rode it twice. She, so she rode it twice only, and I got it sitting in the back right now. And the only thing dirty on it is the pedals. From her shoes. From her shoes, and no, nothing else on that bike is dirty. Awesome. So, 100, 135 bucks, like, that's a great deal. Score. You can't buy that. Like the cheapest bike we found brand new is 178 and I looked at the reviews and they weren't even that great. Yeah. And this is a this is actually a Columbia bike, so I don't know anything about Columbia bikes, so it feels really nice though. And the seat looks comfy. We'll obviously take a better look at it later. Yeah. Where did he go? Ashton! Ashton, found you. Hey, where are you? <laughs> I 
found you. <laughs> you have fun? Yeah. Let me see your shirt. That's cool. I saw you dabbing in there. <laughs> You're hilarious. See that mom, mom's bike? Okay. Cool, right? <laughs> He's been a good Okay, so you can buckle up your own seatbelt, right? Yeah, you can. Find what's me. what's your uh, team name? Uh, you are the Gazoo. That's right, buddy. Here, sit, sit, sit. No! What? Come on. I broke myself in. Good job. So there Mommy's is Brandy's new bike. It's pretty nice. It's blue. Pretty good shape. Pretty good. It's like immaculate. It's immaculate. It's like 135. It's a nice bike. Glad we glad we held out. Yes, nice and comfy too. Yeah. yeah, so for now, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.